So remember, in Sunday Club, we're going through the Ten Commandments. So today we come to commandment number two. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Um, if you remember these Ten Commandments, they show us where we go wrong. So they tell us what is right, but they also reveal to us all the places where we are wrong. But remember uh, the good news. Uh, this is why Jesus Christ came. He came because we're all guilty of breaking these commands. He came to take our sin from us. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 24 says this, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Have a look at this. Okay, we're still looking at the Ten Commandments. We've got a good visual aid here, a mountain. Remember Moses went up the mountain uh, to get the commands, uh, but that's not the same mountain that Moses went up because um, the geographical minded eye will recognize that is clearly Mount Kenya. But Moses went up the mountain to get the commands. Remember, the commands reveal to us that we're guilty. They show us we're sinners. And uh, imagine this is, is my life, my sin. Uh, there's an old hymn that says, my sin had left a crimson stain. I need somebody to rescue me. I need the light of the world, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came into this world, a world that was full of sin, and when he went to the cross, this is what he did for all of his people. Watch carefully. Can you see that? All of the wrong that we've done, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ takes it. He sucks it up and he took the, the punishment for the sin that we deserve. Well, let's get back to the second command. God isn't like us. He doesn't have a physical body like we have bodies. And so if we try and make something that we think God is like, it means we make God less than he is. Psalm 115 is a good place to go when we think about this command. Verse one says this, not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory because of your love and faithfulness. We're to worship God alone because only he is worth it. God is great and holy and good with love and care far beyond all that we know. The person who wrote this Psalm remembered hard times when people mocked the Israelites for believing that God really existed. Uh, verses two and three say, why do the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. The Israelites had turned away from worshiping God and they'd worshiped idols instead. God allowed them to be attacked and taken away to another country, but only for so long. After 70 years, the Israelites came back to their own land. They knew that God was in control and looking after them. Verse four says this, verses four to seven, but their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak, eyes, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear, noses, but cannot smell. They have hands, but cannot feel, feet, but cannot walk. The people who had mocked the Israelites worshiped statues. As some would have been made out of precious metals, but really they were just silver or gold that someone had dug out of the ground. They couldn't do anything. Verse eight says this, those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. The people who worship and trust idols are no better than the idols. A worship in anything that has been created is a complete waste of time, but worse than that, it's sinful. Not only idols can be worshipped, 
anything that's made more important than God becomes an idol. It takes our attention and time and effort. Is there something in your life that you value and love more than God? Verses 9 to 11 say this, All you Israelites trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. God is the only one worthy of your devotion and praise. And there might be things you like very much, but they must not take the place of God in your life and be your idol. Nothing and no one but the one true and living God can help us in life. God made us. God keeps us day by day. Only God can save us from our sin because of the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is God that will one day make all things new, even better than they were at the beginning in the Garden of Eden. We owe God our everything.